everyone. Today's video is going to be something just a little bit different. <laughs> um, I actually three years ago got my teeth, um, well my top teeth, straightened and whitened. Um, what I'll do is I'll, my thumbnails probably before and after picture but I will add in pictures of my progress and things like that as I go through this video. But basically I decided I was a smoker and a heavy heavy coffee drinker so I decided that I wanted to basically whiten my teeth anyway and in looking at them I knew that they were squint. They weren't enormously squint, I'll show you a before shot. But they just bothered me so I decided to try and get them straightened and I happened to be at my dentist and I asked my dentist what the process of me getting my teeth straightened would be. Basically, my dentist, in looking at my x-rays, told me that I'd need... Sorry, if I keep looking down here, it's because it's, I have my cheat sheet and loads of information to get through. <laughs> they said I would need fixed train track style braces. Um, it would take 18 months, it would cost me £2,000 and I'd need to get some teeth removed and things like that and when I was younger I had overcrowding in the top part of my mouth and have gaps anyway so the last thing I wanted to do was lose more teeth. So anyway I kind of ixnade that idea, left it for a wee while and then I took to YouTube and looked for an alternative really and I came across the Inman Aligner and I was kind of, I didn't really know what it was. So I looked into it through YouTube and found a dentist close to me, I say close, it's over 100 miles away from me, but in Glasgow, and uh, they're called MOT Dental, and I'll link all of their information below as well, just in case anybody's in the area and fancies having this done maybe. I found MOT Dental and we got in touch with them and asked them all about this Inman Aligner thing. And the thing that kind of attracted me to it was the fact that it was a removable brace and I actually still have mine and this is it here but it's this tiny little thing and I'll do close-ups of this anyway but basically this is how big it is. It's a retainer style brace and it has a little bit that goes in behind your teeth that's mounted on springs but I'll get a close-up of this for you anyway but that's that's it there after I got in touch with the dentist anyway, I went and got an email consult because obviously they're really far away from me. They told me to send photos of my teeth. So I sent the photos and they said, yes, I was probably going to be a good candidate for the inner aligner, but to go down and have an initial consultation with them. So I did that and this was all in February 2013. I went down, they took my impressions and sent me home and then sent me an email of the breakdown of the costs and what other options I had. So, with my cheat sheet, everything that they said was feasible for my teeth was Invisalign, which most of you probably know or you've heard of, and that can cost between £3,000 and £6,000. Adult fixed braces is what my dentist was offering me and to go private in the UK or in Scotland anyway, it was going to cost 3000 to 5000 Veneers, which aren't really comparable because veneers are completely different altogether, but they, they cause a lot of damage and they can be 3000 to £8,000. Um, and of course the Inman Aligner, which was £1,700 in the end. It included the Inman Aligner and it included the invisible shield. It's just to do the kind of last minute tweaking at the end. Um, you get a fixed retainer which I have behind my teeth right now. Um, after I got the whole thing done they put a kind of wire behind my front teeth to hold them all in place so that I'll never ever need it done again. Um, and then you get teeth whitening included as well. So yeah I thought it was kind of the best option to go for so I decided right okay I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this so as it went they had a payment plan because £1,700 is quite cheap but it wasn't quite cheap enough for me so they took a £300 deposit off me and then I paid them monthly £75 a month until the rest of the balance was cleared and that was just a great great alternative for me. After my initial consultation, I had to wait two weeks for the Inman Aligner to be made. It was fitted on the 29th of March in 2013. 
my appointments were kind of three and four weeks apart I think. So when I went down what they did was they got a little bit of it's almost like floss but it was a flat sheet of sandpaper and all they do is they make gaps in between each tooth like the minuscule tiniest little gaps um, for your teeth to start moving and make sure that your inman is fitting properly make sure that the springs don't need adjusted and things like that and you do that kind of every three to four weeks until they see enough movement to move on to the next stage. So as I was going through that, I had to wear the Inman aligner and you can take it out to drink and you can take it, you don't really need to take it out to drink, you can drink through a straw, you can take it out to eat. I didn't get an awful lot of pain with mine, but I can remember a couple of nights sitting and being in absolute agony with it, but you can take it out if it's too sore. It doesn't make the pain go away, I'll be honest. But the whole process takes around 12 weeks. They say 12 weeks anyway. It can be around about 12 weeks. Some people are less, some people are more. But I wouldn't say it's anywhere near as painful as train tracks because of what I've heard from other people. I'm not sure of the exact dates, but it was early to mid-June when I then went back and seen quite a considerable difference in my teeth. Then actually started the whitening process. So the whitening process starts before you actually finish. So the whitening process started and it literally instantaneously started to whiten my teeth. You get little whitening trays. This one's for my bottom teeth and I have two for my top teeth. And these things cost a fortune usually. The reason I have two for my top teeth is because I started it before my teeth were finished moving and then once the brace part was finished and my teeth had moved enough, they were obviously in a different place. So this one is for whitening afterwards. The only thing that I would say with the brace is you do talk really funny to begin with. I literally couldn't string a sentence together when I um, first started wearing it. but you soon get over that and it doesn't really bother you too much and like I say the whole process takes about 12 weeks so it doesn't really matter too much anyway. By the end of June I'd moved on to this brace which is the just the clear one um, and this basically is just for the tiny minute movements it needs at the end just to make sure that it's all perfectly straight and by the 6th of July in 2013 I was completely finished, uh, I went to the dentist for my last appointment and they put the permanent brace in behind my front teeth and they actually, you'll see from the before and after photos, they actually levelled out all of my teeth if that makes any sense. They made them all the same length, they fixed the shape of them, I actually had a chip in one of my front teeth and they took all that out and everything like that and made them look all pretty basically and then my smile was guaranteed for like two years or three years or something like that. I think it might have been three, I think it just ran out just now. So basically if anything changes or if anything happens you can just go back and it's all included in the price. To maintain the whiteness of my teeth I just use these Crest 3D white strips and I find that these are really good. These ones are quite expensive but you can actually get um, a cheaper make of them as well. I think that once I run out of these I'll probably do that. Like I said, I went to MOT Dental in Glasgow. I'll leave all of their details below just in case you're in the area and you fancy checking it out. If you are kind of nervous around dentists, I definitely, definitely recommend them because they were just so professional and they put me at ease. They kind of, you know, tried to help me because of the distance. They'd always help with arranging appointments around me and stuff like that. And I thought that that was really good of them. So I would definitely, definitely recommend them. I hope this video wasn't too long. I did want to keep it kind of to the point, but I wanted to get as much information in as I possibly could. So that's about it. And that is how I straightened and whitened my teeth. So literally it took me four months to fully straighten and whiten my teeth. With the Inman aligner, it can only work on the first, the front four teeth in your mouth. So it's the top or the bottom. I only got the top done, but you can get it done on the top or the bottom or both. I don't know if they can do both at once right enough. That might be quite difficult to speak. It, you can do it in 12 weeks. I did it in four months and 
it, it's not really much of an inconvenience and I definitely definitely recommend it so if you're looking for something and you really don't want to get train tracks you can't afford Invisalign and things like that definitely check out the Invisaligner. I'll leave you with my before and afters and some other um, pictures that I think are relevant anyway but apart from that, that's it and that's how I straightened and wiped my teeth. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye!